There's a part in here. I st again. I I kept making notes like the first. Uh, look, at, look at all the post-its in your dude, book. There, I can't, Paul. It's like as a comic. It's like one of the things that drives me nuts is that when you talk about race a certain way, and uh, Paul and I probably talk about it from different points of view, but it's like it makes the audience uncomfortable to hear about it if you're not talking about exactly the ideology they want to hear. And you were talking about that from from the '60s, how people. There's a giant elephant in the room and nobody is talking about it. You say, uh, I don't know how anyone, black or white in America, can stand up in front of an audience with a microphone and never mention it. And I agree. I don't know how anybody can do stand-up mm. and not address race. Well, I think they're afraid. You know, and the world's different now than the world that we lived in. And well, that I lived in, not you, because you're too young, but the world that I lived oh. in, uh, <laughs> it took a half an hour for you to get your grits. The world that you live in now, it's five minutes. So the world has changed. <laughs> but what do you think about talking about race on stage? Do you notice different reactions now or different comfort levels from people? The reaction is still the same. America won't change about race. And I mean, it's because only a Mexican or an Indian can be an American because they're natives. It, it talks for itself. Everybody else is a U.S. citizen. And if you don't believe it, look at your passport. I well, yeah. Well, yeah, but, you know, you can't have just Mexicans and Indians running around. Yeah, so no, but, shitting no, because but they're the, the only Americans. Mm. Nobody else can. They're natives. That's what it means. The rest of us are U.S. citizens. You well, think, I, I'm not, listen to me, I'm not trying to push something down your throat. Oh, no, I It know. is what it is. You get Ooh. your, you have a passport? Yes. Look at it. It says U.S. citizen. Yeah. yeah. That's what you are. I'm a citizen of the United States. That's right. Never forget it. You're not an American. Um, I'm an American because the, the uh, you see the brainwash you believe because, that no 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 you, no, you, you know why because uh, it wasn't it wasn't called America uh, it, at that point uh, you know it was it was it was kind of that time in history where a lot of conquering was going on but are you an There's Indian are you an Indian no okay well you're not an American are, well, are you Mexican <laughs> well you know what. Then, then the fucking Mastodon uh, yeah. is an actual American. Yeah, or, no, or no there are not. You're just, you're just, a, you're just a U.S. citizen. But how do the Mexicans? How do the microbe? Mexicans are short Indians. Let's <laughs> keep it real. But how do the Mexicans and Indians get here, though? Yeah. Maybe they came from somewhere else first, right? Where I have no idea. So they should be. They were just, too. they were just here. So I have no idea. But they were. Yeah. And have you got your census papers? They brought, they mailed them out. I don't. Know. Oh, I throw that shit away. Yeah, yeah. It's very funny. They actually have down there. Are you Negro colored? Afro American or black? Really? They no, want to no, know. No, they want to know. Come on. Look it up. <clears throat> they probably look yeah, it they, up. They, you don't believe me? It's coming, out, it's coming out of a black man's mouth. Look it up on the white man's internet, and then you tell me. <laughs> Come back and talk to me. They probably. I'm telling know. you what it said. <laughs> yeah, they probably want to know. Yeah. how you want. I just put to down. Yourself. I put down stolen Africa. I just put the truth down. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. So I put it down. You just kind of write in your own. Yeah, thing, it's what it is. Stolen suit. Africa. That's what it is. But you weren't born in Africa. Stolen, I said. I didn't say born in Africa. Are you African American? Who? No, I'm a stolen African. Are you hard of hearing? But you're not African. You weren't even born. What, what, I'm. Listen, my ancestors you're an American are African citizen. Yes, now <laughs> they're forced to be one. I was forced no, to be well, here. You wouldn't have been a my slave. An, no, How my old are you? my ancestors were forced to come here. You just what are you live in some dream world? No, I'm just saying if I can't be an American, you can't be an African. But we, we're not talking about you now. What's your fucking problem? We're not uh, talking about I'm you. Talking, oh, I'm just talking shit. to you. Yeah, but I'm no, but we're not saying. talking. We're, but we're not discussing you now. We were talking about me. How do we get to you? Are you I, I'm confused but by that. You were the one that brought up the fact that I'm not an American. I said that we all were U.S. citizens. Did I not say that? Gang. You okay. said I said all of us, including me. Mm -hmm. You're not including me. But You're including you yourself. A, You're how just... are you a stolen African? If... Easy. Uh, because my ancestors were forced to come here. And my blood was mixed, so I'm just, I'm, you know, I have white blood in me. I'm from Louisiana. What is wrong with you? But that, look, he's got black blood in him. We're not sure, but we think so. Yeah, he's got a little hair. in him. Just a little bit. <laughs> anyway. Well, where were you born? Uh, well, I was born in uh, Flushing, New York. You have black blood in you, too. Oh, I'm sure I do. Yeah, for sure. Sicilian? What are you kidding? <laughs> oh, my God, you are black. Get oh, out of yeah. my face. Yeah. yeah, you are black. Yeah, you're just <laughs> passing for white. Get out of my face. <laughs> now, I see what you're about. Now, you're playing games. I'm playing games. Yeah, you're passing for white. That's what your problem is. But go ahead. Sicilian, please. <laughs> well, only half. <laughs> yeah, now you're going to deny it. Yeah, yeah. You got the one drop, <laughs> one drop rule. <laughs> I got the one drop rule. You got the one drop rule. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, you know that quarter moon. Quarter moon. Quarter Those moon. are the rules. You're black. Yep. That's quarter it, moon. Man. So, hey. Damn. Yep. 
I should have slept in. Yep. Yeah, there yep. you go. God so what, yep. what are we learning today? I'm very, we're lear you're learning I'm very that confused. He, you're learning that you think he's black and you know he is. You learned a lot this Damn. morning. Damn. Yeah. And, and we're all U.S. citizens. That's right. As all opposed of to Americans. Yeah. As opposed to Americans. Okay. Yeah. But I don't even think the Indians could be Americans. Why do you say that? Because they had to, like... Came like, from somewhere. They had to come from somewhere. Yeah. Like, they came from their mothers. This is the same place you came from. Uh, but who put them here? Yeah. What do you mean, who put them here? We're, we were put here, so who put them here? You mean who forced them to be here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. what, what, did the Indians start as seeds? Someone had to put them here? <laughs> I think they came over from, like, Russia. Right, so not, <laughs> so, so Indians are Russians. Yeah, okay, fine. So no, one, yeah. no one is the original. Yeah. Yeah. No, really? Yeah. Okay, so when they came here, the Indians just appeared. But what kind of Indians, though? Then we got to get into it, because is it the Apaches? Is it the Black Hawk? Like, what kind of Indians? Oh, because man. by process of elimination, you'd have to start saying, well, this Indian tribe is not as legit as the other Indian tribe, because they were enslaved by this tribe. So if you go down to it, there's probably only one small group of Indians, and then you could say that the rest of the Indians are also American, uh, U.S. citizens, just like all of us. So maybe there's one core group of Indians that are Americans, but that means 90% of the Indians are frauds, so the blacks are frauds, the whites are frauds. We're all kind of fraudulent. Yeah, you uh, think the Americans. Indians are frauds? Go to the reservation. No, Let's I'm saying go, uh, go to part it. of them, though. But what Should part? we just leave... What? Should we just leave America then and let let the Indians and Mexicans have it back? No, I mean the Indians have their reservations. I love the Indians. They yeah. don't piss them off. I mean, uh, no. what's his face? The blonde-headed man. He pissed them off. Custer. Custer? Oh yeah, yeah, he pissed them off. General don't Custer. ever piss them off. He they knew him. Oh oh, oh very well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. When he was no, coming no, around no, the but he he pissed them off. Yeah. There's only two white people in history that I'm into that I'm big fans of. The first one is the one they said, John Brown. I, I love John Brown. He's my white hero. Who's John Brown? See? Who's John oh, Brown? I know who he is, but the audience doesn't. What, yeah. what do you mean? They know who the hell John Brown is. They certainly is. don't, because I don't either. I was lying. Just to sound smart. Jimmy doesn't know who John yeah. Brown is. I do, but why don't you yeah. explain it to him, yeah. please? You explain it to him. If you uh, I him. mean, you brought it up. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, no, he was an <laughs> abolitionist. Uh, that was. Um, oh, he shit. actually paid with his life, didn't he? At uh, what, Was that a, a bomb? Wait a minute. I, I, I'm getting the story here. Um, it was a... Where was that? I'm sorry. It was by a ferry, right? Yes, yes. I remember seeing this on the history. Well, he account. he uh, w he owned a uh, newspaper. Okay, okay. And he was he said that slavery was against God, that it was wrong yeah. to have slaves, that we were all human beings, and that we were all God's children. Oh, they actually did pick up arms and you know. Start... No, no, no. They they no. They burnt his his uh, newspaper down. They burnt it down. Yeah. You know so much about him. When was he born? Who? I have no idea when he was May born. Nine, he was May nine, born. 1800. Oh, now take you're that. getting, now yeah. you're take getting that. in front We yeah. take off take on that. John Brown's yeah. birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you yes. got that You got that thing in front of you. I have nothing. Yeah. Look around. Oh, you knew that? Well, maybe yes. you're related to him. Yes, I do. So John, John, uh, John Brown was I, I, would, I would say he has any black in him. I, John I got a little bit. No, no, I mean Opie. Where are you from? Where you born, Opie? Here. What, in New York? Yeah, the Queens, Astoria. Okay. I'm a mutt. I'm mutt. I'm everything. So oh, John, but the anyway, John Brown, so. John Brown. Yeah, yeah. They, Who's the so other one? He said, so he just, since they burnt the down, he said, you know, an eye for an eye and a two for a two. So then that became, he came, he got violent. And uh, so, but he was great. He wound up getting killed. Oh, they killed him and his sons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, tr they, they lied to him. They put him in a trick bag. Did they? Yeah, for sure. But he was a truly an American because he believed in everyone's freedom. Mm. And they said he was crazy. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, back then uh, they would say that. You know what? It, it was a, kind of a. No one ever looks at it in the context of back then. Like a lot of people really just thought that was a fine thing, perfect thing to do, like slavery and and conquering nations and uh, imperialism and things yeah, like that. Uh, like now? No, not so much <laughs> now. I think there's a little more. I think there's a little more of an outcry now when you try to. Yeah, kind of like kind of like the world is now. No, come on, we got a black president, yo. Are you talking about America or the world? <laughs> You talking about the world? Or you know what? I'm you serious. Just made I'm, a no, no, but I, no, no. I'm no. I did that because it is so sad yes, that you have to be so impressed. Why not a black president? Look no, at all I'm the not. white ones you've had. I was just impressed. I was I just as impressed. You know how many white presidents the there have been? Yeah. Did you know how many white presidents? Forty-three. Well, come on. Very good. Yeah, that's no. about right. They all, they all have been white. Have, have yeah, you ever? Yeah, yeah. 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 Why can't why can I why can I be angry? Well, they all know, gotta be white. But why well, are they all white? Because up until a certain point, the idea of even having a black president was ridiculous. It wasn't ever gonna no, happen. You had a couple of them. They passed for white, like and you. Now, like who, who? Like you. They well, passed for white. Well, We've had a couple of black presidents. For real. I know. Oh, yeah. I know Jefferson like tagging a little black yeah. ass uh, out in the out back. 
Oh, he, he, I don't know he, about Jefferson, it. what? You think you think Jefferson was the only one? No, no, his no. His mistress yeah. was half sister to his wife. So what does that tell you? Wow. Now what does that tell you? He's a it was all in the family. I want to know who you thought was a black president. Well, there's many of them. Name one. What do you mean, name one? What are you trying to do? You brought just, it up. I why would, know yeah, one. why would I tell on them? It's a, we have to keep it a secret. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so you can so you can start hating them? I don't think so. Taft's <laughs> hair was a little <laughs> questionable. Yeah, he's, he's, Taft had some questionable he's a bit hair. suspicious. <laughs> uh, 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 no, right, Anthony. there was a couple of them. Let's go with Taft. Let's go with go. Taft. Oh, yeah. Yes, Look him up. Oh, yeah, he's... That hair is a no, little he looks questionable. Like he, Look him up. No, he looked... The complete opposite. Oh, fucking Wilford Brimley. He's looking, he is looking. Who would I think? Let me think. <laughs> right, now you, now you got to think. No. Lincoln. So those wigs Lincoln? were... Lincoln? Absolutely. Those wigs no. were covering Absolutely. up... Absolutely. The wigs were covering up the afro, is what he's saying. <laughs> the white wigs? Yeah, we got to go with the white wigs. White wigs. No, that's why Lincoln wore a hat. Because <laughs> <laughs> people were going, hey, are you? And he goes, oh, give me my hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, we finally got a smile at him. That's good. I want to know who Paul the other Murray's white hero is. intense motherfucker. Who's hmm? the other white hero? Oh, am I intense? Oh, you you're are. funny. For you're white man, for white man, that's very funny. You're, I'm intense. You're okay, smiling good. a little bit. Now, okay, smiling good. a little bit. I'm intense. Which is good. Which okay. is good. Yeah. Duh. Who's the other white hero? Yeah. yeah. I wonder. Yeah. It was John. Uh, John, uh, John Brown. Brown. Oh, yeah, and, who's, and who's the other white hero? Yeah. You said there was two. Jim Norton. That's funny. Who was the other white yeah, hero? Yeah, who's the other one? Let's, Let's go. No, you, you, no, it's too many of you. I have to wait till I get part of my crew in here. It's too many of you. Yeah. Right now, you want to no, get no, some no. of the white yeah, people yeah, out yeah, of here? Yeah. No. We can get do some that. of the uh, no. guys from no. Shade. No. No. If, if, Shade guys in. If, if we get the white people out of here, you'll be the only person leaving. So we, we don't want <laughs> oh, that. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, let me tell you something. That does seem to be a tactic in the black community is saying, look, you got some black in you. You got some. That seems to be a very, um, uh, like, offensive. You're like you're almost trying to make it offensive what? by saying that. That oh, you got black in you. You got offensive. black in you. What? What? Yeah, how, but, well, but you're almost using it as a combative. But how tactic. can I be the perpetrator That's when I mean. the white man did the screwing? What are you talking no, about? No, no, no. I'm saying that you. He made the mixed babies. I didn't. So what are you talking about? You're using it as almost using what? Saying that. You got black in you. You have black in you. As almost a way of, of uh, as a, a tool of combat. Like, hey, hey, you. So you, I you got say some black I'm in, in New York because I'm in New York, and that's a, that's a reality. No, you, because you, actually, you, you that's know. what you feel. That's what you're getting. So you have to come out of that. No, no, you, you, you seem to be using it as a, a tactic. What kind uh, of tactic? Employed in like as an insult. A, a reality and is I, an I, attack. I'd be surprised to have a black man using that as some kind of thing that's supposed to offend when it should be a compliment. I don't even know what you're talking about. You sound like you're insane. Are you a crackhead? <laughs> no, I would not be a crackhead. I'm, I'm using it. He's you a cracker, sounds, but I told not a crackhead. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for that white man but he says you're a cracker which you aren't a cracker <laughs> no i'm not a no cracker. you're not but i'm just saying that you're just weird i don't i don't get you i don't know that's just... how everybody feels about you right now paul we're trying to figure out where you're coming from <laughs> yeah, we're very yeah. confused well, about you, paul. well hey you could be confused if you want to i, I know what reality is paul right? is a very uh, there's a lot of every uh, not everything i'm sure but a lot of what you do and are is based in race it seems well so, where do i live in china no you live in race the United was States. here way be do do I look 400 years old to you? No, but apparently you, do you still carry that grudge. Do you it's not a grudge. I'm, not, I'm do, do you reacting like the, to the, the environment that I'm in. What do you mean grudge? I don't have a grudge. The environment if, I, is, if I had a grudge, I would have come in here and blown your brains out. I don't you, have a grudge. But you are old enough. In, in my what family. Form? What is wrong with you? You are old enough to have been on this earth long enough to see that things have progressed and changed. No. No, they have now. Changed. How no. from the sixties from from from, bit, bit. from fire hoses and German shepherds to you know uh, uh, a black man in the White House. No, this listen to you. But I use something as a. You, I'm just what, why do you keep saying that? So yeah, there's a black man in the White House. Yeah, he's an American because that right? represents huge change. That was his platform is change. That represents a huge change in the racial divide in this country. That's how I see it. I see the glasses half full, Paul. Yeah. You see it as half white. Yeah, I don't see it as half white. You don't, you don't even have a glass, please. <laughs> oh, he has a glass, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My glass is or two, or three, or I'm four, or five. 
No, it just seems that you're very, um, not, I, I don't want to use the word hung up because it's a part of your life. It's very important. But race seems to play a listen, very important part listen, in your life. Listen, Oprah, don't critique me, okay? I'm not critiquing you. Yes, you are you. critiquing me. I, am I critiquing you? I'm just saying. You did critique him, though. You said he wasn't white. You did critique him. Yeah, you did a little bit. I'm just saying, no, but, I, but it seems whenever I see you on an interview or, or on stage or, or sat here and, and spoken with you, it is very racially motivated and based the conversation and and i don't you can't you can't get out of that and just go yeah like you know driving my car down the country road or doing something it always seems to have to have some kind of racial background if i'm on a country road and i see you i'm running you over how about that <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that just... won't be about race <laughs> <laughs> If he doesn't run you over first, yeah, uh, believe me, you yeah, yeah, have no know. idea, man. <laughs> we'll play chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea, man. He is the polar opposite of you, my friend. No, well, not th I'm not that bad. I think he's very. I think he is very, very um, racially. Uh, uh, I, I think you're divisive. I find you racially divisive. Like, like you, there, there's a great division between black and white with you. More so than I think there is things. Uh, there are things in common. Where have you lived the last thirty years of your life? The United States of America. Have you watched television and the movies? Yes, I have. And you think that I'm about race? Uh, well, yeah. I, I think you only see Have it. you watched old black and white films? Oh, absolutely. That were mostly white. Have you watched them? Yes. Okay. Yes. But I've also and watched me? a wonderful performance it, by yeah. Sidney Poitier the in perfect a patch of The green? perfect Negro, yes. The perfect <laughs> yeah. Negro. Oh, but anyway, listen. <laughs> a patch of your, blue, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yes. your, your comfort zone. <laughs> and, but and, listen to me. You think that I've created racism on this planet? No, 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 no. That I've no, created no. race on this planet? That's all no. it's been. That's all the films have been about. That's all it's all been about. I'm just saying, I think it. It, and it, it was way, takes it was up, here way before I came. It takes up a very big but don't, part of. Put, don't take me and try to blame me for all of oh, this. Oh, no blame. I'm just saying it takes uh, up a lot of your life. Wait a minute, Sidney Poitier is the perfect Negro. Wait a minute, now let me ask you about it. Because fucking, even X liked Sidney Poitier because he never fucking conked his hair. He never played certain roles. He always played a dominant, he uh, was smart good. dude. He they never, call he me Mr. Tennant. I mean, he never played a guy who was a fucking. Uh, who was a pawn. But he was a perfect Negro. He was. I mean, you know, maybe in real life he married a white lady. Negro, that, no. that next no, not issue, married, but. no, it was Negros then. Come on. You, you're just but how you're is too he, young. But how you're is young. he... No, but I, I'm not that young. I mean, you I'm not are, fucking you're, eight. You're, no, you were not... I look no, younger you than I am. I look Accepted by the white Negro. man, he's a sellout. That's no, pretty much what I'm saying. No, I didn't say that. But how is he the perfect Negro? How was he the perfect Negro? During that time, he was. But how? That how? Meaning what constitutes a perfect Negro? Come on. He was able to to move around with to interact. How do you feel? People. How do you feel about him? What do you mean? How do I feel about him? I like Sydney. I've always liked Sydney. Okay. I love Sydney because he slapped the hell out of that white man in that movie, and it wasn't in the script. <laughs> really? Yeah. It wasn't was in the was script. It? Rod Steiger. Yes, Rod. That was yeah, not. Rod he did, he slapped Rod Steiger in, uh, in the heat <laughs> of the night. Rod he slapped the other guy. Uh, the, it, it, yeah, it, it, uh, yeah. It's nineteen sixty-seven. Yeah, yeah. He said, "Don't talk to me like that, boy." I could and he slapped him. Slapped him back. I could have had you shot for that. Right. That wasn't in the script. He slapped it. The theater went crazy. Oh, I don't doubt it. So how could you say they probably burnt the screen down? So how could you say he was the perfect Negro almost in a negative way? Like that's a sarcastic. Now that you mentioned burning, I kind of like you. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh my God! Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> what the but fuck? No, I don't know what you mean. Well, that's. Yeah. But you should explain it. If I'm asking you, like I, I would like I just to know. said to you, come on, he was the perfect Negro. But how? He was. You, are you saying that in a negative way? It sounds no, like a negative, in a positive way. The perfect that Negro a, sounds like a sarcastic thing from a black guy talking about a black guy who he thinks is a sellout. Well, because you're saying black, 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 black wasn't mentioned then. Well, Negro, we know Negro yeah, does not colored. cover white. Negro and colored. <laughs> oh. Right. That's what it was about then. Right. Yeah. So, so being the perfect no Negro. No Afro-America, no black, none of this stuff. So, yeah. Go ahead. But is that negative or, or positive from you saying somebody's the perfect Negro? It's almost saying like an un Uncle Tom. Is, That's no, right. Of course it is. Did okay. I say okay. Uncle Tom? No, you, you didn't, didn't say it. Not even going to put like, words like, into my mouth? Never. Like, no, but implications have final meanings. I that, Mr. Mooney. Well, what does perfect Negro that. mean to you? Perfect Negro coming from a black man today, especially a guy who has race views like you do, is saying that he was comfortable for white people because he assimilated and appeased white people by somehow not addressing his blackness or selling out his blackness. You ask me what that would mean to there me? There was That's no the blackness that I would have. That's why you're confused. But I'm not There's confused. No yes, you are. There's no, no, no African-American, no blackness. You didn't have that dialogue that you're using now on me. 
But I'm not using it on you. Yes, you are. You're using it. You're saying this is what this means. But you this said is what, what does it mean to me, so I'm saying but, what, no, what is it? No, but you're saying that because you weren't from, you don't come from that era. You don't even know what I'm talking about. So you don't come from 19, uh, 1850, but you still talk about it. So I don't even talk about, about the 60s. Meaning, no, you're not that you, old. No, but I'm saying You're 20 you. years older than me. No, but I'm just, I'm <laughs> saying you, I may be 100 years older than you. You're, you're not. You're, you're, I'm saying for you, for your youth, it is confusing for you because your life is different. That's you why think I, differently. That's why you I ask you, you have what do you no mean by what a Negro is? Well, you don't I, have a, you don't have a clue. Well, then I'm asking you to explain it. I just explained just, it you to didn't. you. No, yes, you didn't. No, you didn't. Well, I'm sorry. I'm a smart guy. I'm, I wouldn't caught the well, explanation you should, had well, you, you should, given one. Well, you should get smarter. No, you're not giving the explanation. The you're a bad explainer. Negro, and that's not negative. What does it mean then? The perfect Negro. What does that mean? What is the implication behind that? What do you want it to mean? I don't care Apparently, what it means. Yes, it does. Apparently, it's important to you. So, what do you want it to mean? No, it, it's important. You brought be, it up. What would you be comfortable? brought it up. He just wants your definition of the perfect Negro. I would Negro. gather from, you guys from the asked time. me a question, and I told you the question because you, you said it. I was asking you just to clarify. What does it mean, the perfect Negro? In the context of the time that he was around. Yes. He was the perfect Negro. Yeah. As opposed to saying Nat King Cole. Know what, it meant? To know what it meant? No. That he could screw your mama. How about that? Guess who's coming to who dinner? Cares? That's what it meant. My mother fucked a lot of black guys. Yeah. That was just I'm her just saying, okay, well, fine. But I'm saying. She was I'm the saying, first couple video it, maker. Yeah, so now, what does it mean? That's what it means. It, that's still not a good explanation. It sounds negative, and it sounds like it was meant to be well, I almost. I, listen, there's nothing I can do for you. I'm not a psychiatrist. I think, oh, Paul, Paul, a lot of things, Paul, that you say come off. Sounding a little negative or just mysterious, like you're not sure. It's like, was that sarcasm or was he like being sincere? Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's what I'm saying. So the, when you so when you saw Sydney's movies, what did you think? He was fucking great. He was great. He was a great actor. He was a powerful guy. He certainly didn't come off as a guy who went out of his way to appease anybody or to play a softer mm. or subservient role. That's what I thought of Sidney Poitier. Yeah, defiant one. He's a brilliant actor. Yeah. Of course he was. First black to win an Oscar, we know that. He probably should have won another one for in, in the heat of the night. He probably should have won for that as well. He wasn't the first black to get an Oscar. Manny was from Gone with the Wind. Uh, right? First black, uh, yeah, but didn't she didn't win Best Actress, did she? Supporting Actress. She won a supporting. I'm saying the, yeah. the best the best, best acting I should have clarified. I don't know was nothing Sidney about birth no babies. Uh, no, that was Butterfly McQueen. You're getting well, mixed that? up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting all mixed. Ah, you're getting, what do you're I getting know? your mammies mixed up. I thought that was a mammy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. I don't even know what's going on. That was Butterfly McQueen. Oh, shit. I thought it wasn't Mammy was the fat one. But the Bob McQueen was a little skinny one. Oh, with, she was you remember, a skinny one. You remember, remember? God yeah, see? Damn me. You, you two are getting along now. I like that. <laughs> you two are getting along. Oh, we're just talking about old films. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> talking about old films he together. He doesn't even know who Mammy is. Oh, sorry. I, <laughs> I don't oh, know nothing about that. That was Butterfly I'm confused McQueen. by this Paul Mooney guy. <laughs> That's too confused. funny. Uh, you two used to having racial discussions with either black people or comfortable white or, or people who, white people who are uncomfortable asking, what are you talking about with that? That's what's, that's why you're getting annoyed if somebody's asking you, what do you mean We're by that? We're just talking movies. Come on, you ever see Birth of a Nation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once. Yeah. Once was enough. Worst yeah. comedy I've I ever walked, seen. Yeah, well, I walked out on that. You know they didn't have a script. <laughs> no? No. It was just they winged it? And they, 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 they were all in blackface. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I gotta, I gotta rent, I gotta rent that one. Yeah, you gotta rent that one uh, if you can find it. I know that's that's a hard one to find. You get it on the internet. Who was the lead? The female. Uh, Who the fuck? Knows? Cameron Diaz. No. <laughs> was it America's She's dead. Sweetheart? She's dead. She's dead now. The one. The, she was a silent film star. Yeah, yeah. Yes. America's Sweetheart, Mary Pickford. People are. Can, you want to take some phone calls? Let me say hi to Rich in Philly. Rich, oh, what's shit. up? Hey boys, how you doing? Pretty hi, good. Rich. Hey, Moody, I think I speak for a lot of people. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> What'd you say? He said, can you, your volume's on the bottom right. He said, what the fuck are you talking about? You're, you're I don't understand a single thing you're saying. I mean, you're speaking English, but I don't understand a thing you're saying. I, can, I can't hear it. Go ahead. He's, he basically is asking, what the fuck are you talking about? He's, He's talking confused. about a few things. What are the things, though? What do you want, Andy? What do you want him to clarify uh, in general um, there, every, Rich? Everything. Um, how I'm not an American, how, what the hell a perfect Negro is, um, how about everything you've said you walked into the high guys? He, I, I think he clarified what the perfect Negro was as much as really? Paul yeah, will. Uh, but as far as Americans go, he said okay. it already. He said, you know, uh, Indians and Mexicans apparently are Americans. Yeah, what, are, what are the Indians, you know, they realize the cradle of civilization is what, Mesopotamia? So there Mesopotamia. were no Indians here at some point. So they yeah. walked here across the, like, the land bridge thing eons ago. 
So the, the taint. It, it, and they walked across, across the, the taint to get taint. to America. The taint that uh, connects uh, Russia right. with uh, uh, Alaska. There you go. So, so the Indians weren't here originally either. God didn't put the Indians in, you know, the Dakota into here. This is yours. We, we got here also. So I don't know what he's talking about now, Paul, to tell you the truth. You and Paul should sit in a right. room together. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about either. <laughs> Let me go to Bonnie in D.C. Bonnie, That's what's up? Very, he was very strong. Bonnie. 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 Hey, okay, I, you guys have got to rewind the tape. Is anybody going to call him when he said, well, why shouldn't Barack be in the White House? He's an American. Well, then why aren't we? Well, how is, how's Barack an American and we're not, uh, Mr. Moody? I took that as sarcasm. Oh, was it sarcasm? Yes. Yes, no, it is. Well. He said, why shouldn't he be in the White House? <laughs> He's American. No, I said it because all of them have been saying it. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's, it's easy. Yeah, no, you here stop. Here. It's a joke. You stop. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. All right, and look, I'm a all right, let's go goddamn to goddamn yeah. white bitches, right? No. They never know when to shut no, up. No, You she's fucking a, white bitch. No, she's an uncle woman. That's all. Mm. Uncle woman. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go to Kevin in Houston. Kevin? Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning. Hey, Mr. Mooney, I, 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 it's really funny to me how you sit there and you regurgitate a bunch of crap that you've heard somebody say and pass it off like it's your own when you're sitting there totally contradicting yourself the entire time, acting like you're this... 128 year old person that lived during the Civil War, and you're not. You sound like a fucking ed uneducated idiot. Wow. wow. All right. Would you like to uh, retort? You're absolutely right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. You're right. You're right. Thank you for enlightening me. I'm glad you called. Thanks a lot. No problem. Yeah, thanks a lot. You just call again. Call again. You're, you're just brilliant. You're a genius. Let's go to Eric in Houston. Eric. Hey, Paul, hey, I'm a fan, just to tell you that. But, you know, I, I heard a bit about you doing it about you made Howard Stern. Because, you know, he, he has a comedic radio show, and he made a uh, racial remark or stuff like that. And you got all pissy about it. But you do the same thing in your show. You you know, you attack... I got pissy at, at, at Howard? Yeah, I'm saying, but you... You got me mixed up. You got me... Hey, Howard. you got me mixed up with somebody else. I have never come after Howard Stern. No, no, I'm saying, you didn't go after Howard Stern? You didn't... You didn't have a whole bit how, how you were calling him an uh, idiot and you were calling Robin a slave? I never called him an idiot. Nope. You got it wrong, brother. You got it mixed up. You got it mixed up. You should call Howard and talk to him. I never go. called him that. You got me mixed up, brother. All right. Hmm. Awkward. <laughs> right, Hello? Paul, we believe huh? you. Problem? I don't know, Howard? Paul. I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? You think Howard would let me on his show? Come on. Yes, <laughs> I think so. Honestly, I, I, I think so. No, that's... I, to, to, to be confrontational, yes. No. no please, I am waking up. We no have a way. show like no that, way. and we, no. we have people on who we have know, confronted. Yeah, but you know how many times I've done that show? Come on. I don't know, actually. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times. Okay. He's got it mixed up. They're like crazy out there. What is Black is the New White? It's a book. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just can't like, get an answer out of him. He's like, a, I, uh, okay, I understand. <laughs> Physically, yes, it has covers yeah, help us and a little pages. Bit. We're trying to sell books for you. The white what? man's trying to sell books for you. Uh, <laughs> what is the, the title, Black is the New White? What? Where, 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 where did you... Uh... Well, let me answer. It's a title. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he would answer. Uh, it's your big letters on the front of the book. Yeah. You're like a Dr. Seuss character. <laughs> <laughs> just talk around shit. Yeah. It, does that have, uh, you know, any significance? I mean, black is the new white. Is that a commentary on maybe uh, today's culture and, and whatnot? You're living proof that black is the new white. Really? Oh, yeah. How's that? Right, now, how? Yeah. yeah. Right. Please. Yeah. 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 No, this yeah. is yeah. where yeah. you have the problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This not the problem. Yeah, the You're not good with the follow-up questions. Everything that you guys say is correct. But and, you don't have you're, a... You're innocent. And, you're really and, and bad at the follow-up question. And it's me, and I'm the bad no. guy. I'm the big bad guy. I'm just, and when I leave no. here, I'm going to see to it that none of you have a job. I'm going to see to it about your neighbor. Damn! I'm, the oh, bad nice. guy's going to fix all of you when I leave oh, here. Oh, shit! No, you just have a problem with follow-up questions. Oh, yeah, of course. That was a very good follow-up question. That was a good question. That was a good question. What was the uh, uh, original question, Anthony? If it is a commentary on today's society, yes, black yes, is the new white, and you said you are proof of that... <laughs> I just want to know how, how the I'm being sarcastic. Why would you say that? We understand I, I sarcasm. <laughs> We're very no, but, uh, it, I don't it, think it, you it, understand anything. It, I, think, oh, shit. <laughs> I think what it you does, understand... Yeah, go it ahead. does seem to be uh, a commentary, though, on what's going on today. 
Yeah, Black is. is the new way. It it's, 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 it's about my relationship with Richard Pryor. It's about humor. It's about comedy. It's about my grandmother. It's about a lot of things. No. I don't want to spoil it. Just get the book and read no, it. I know. I, don't know. I was just speaking talking, of, I was a uh, spoil it. I was talking about the cover. Okay. I think a yes. lot of people will okay. see that. All right, great. <laughs> speaking of, I'll do the follow up. Yes, White the is the new black. Yeah. You, yeah. Speaking of comedy, yeah. <laughs> gray, gray is the new gray. Yeah. Is the, yeah. 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 Speaking, speaking of comedy, are you uh, using the N word again? Because uh, what was it like three years ago? You said I'm not using that on stage anymore. I haven't been using. it. Why? Yeah. I haven't been using it. It's a long time ago. It's a whole new... I mean, you want me to bring that all up again, the Michael Richards stuff? Well, no, just what inspired no, you not just, to use it, because yeah. you were a guy who's, who pretty much was comfortable using it. Yeah, because it was, it was newsworthy you, when you said you, you didn't want to use it. I wasn't by myself. I mean, did Gregory Richard probably but no, no, all no, no, no one said it. you were. No, you wrote... I'm oh, simply... Oh, you obviously you. wrote the famous... Uh, oh, are you still using it? Go ahead. You wrote the famous SNL skit with... Not on stage, but in the car. You wrote the famous SNL skit with Richard Pryor and The Word Association. Sure, which was an amazing bit. Yeah, So that's why we're asking you yeah. because you know you were able to yeah, get did, that I, on I fucking no, tv I, I had stopped using it and then yeah, in 2006 yeah. because of the michael richards yeah, thing because you said, of his, I'm done. his meltdown but, yeah. but why did you feel like you can't use that anymore on stage or didn't want to i should say well it was a big it was jesse jackson was it, it was it was a lot of people involved. then jesse jackson used it jesse jackson used it they caught him on a fox microphone that's yeah. phony mm -hmm. well, he used whoops. it you do remember that mr mooney don't you what Jesse, he, Jesse, Jesse said it. Yeah. So what about it? Nothing. I'm just saying. Why? Jesse. No, I just. I can't know. be responsible for Jesse. You make me responsible for him. No, I actually want to know. Put that what, on anybody. Yeah, I thought you were his <laughs> representative. Right. Today. Right. Right. I just want to know. I can only be responsible for me. All right. I'm sitting that's... here with the three of you. You right. can walk outside and murder somebody. I can't be responsible. But with that said, why did you stop using the word? I just stopped. I mean, I just stopped using it. I had a vision. Come on, you're deeper than that. Can you tell us a little more than that? What? I stopped using the word because of him. Just because of him. Because he kept so showing ugly. it over and over again. And, you know, and so, and also I helped him because they wanted to crucify that guy. You know mm -hmm. that. And you look at him now, I mean, he has aged since then. Yeah, who? He looks like. That'll do it to you. <laughs> no, he's been through a lot, man. Oh, come I, on. I don't doubt it. He was on curb last night, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but his looks, career's back. Come on. You don't look that. Oh, it's no, back. Yeah, no. sure. It's back. No, I no, don't no, think no so. listen, let me tell you something. They would have deported him. Mm. I'll crucify them if it had been for me. I helped him. And I, did Jimmy I, the Greek them? Who? They, they, Jimmy they, the they, Greek hey, them. Let me tell you something. My kids, everybody, I took a lot of slack. I mean, they went crazy. People went crazy. They didn't know why are you protecting him. And, he, you know, and, you know, and he's, if you actually listen to that tape from the Laugh Factory, mm -hmm. I mean, you've been there. You yeah. listen to it. The audience was much more vicious than he was. You have to hear <laughs> the audience. You ain't funny. You ain't never been funny. They were yeah, killing they, them. Going off oh, the they bed. were going off. They, I mean, they turned. You know, I mean, who are you? And you know, and and that's oh, before the meltdown. Yeah, I want my money back. And I mean, it was you know, for comics to be up on stage. Yeah. Forget about Oof. the racial issue. Yeah, they, I mean, to, for a comic to be there and the, the audience to come that vicious. Yeah, and the audience can be. He'll tell you they can oh, be vicious. Know. You want to hit them as hard as you. If, if they were all fat people, he would have said, "You fat fucking pigs." <laughs> you want to hit them as hard as you can, as a visceral an attack as you can do when you're being wounded like that on stage. How, how do you feel about uh, the the use of the word or words, the N-word? Because it almost gives free reign for people to use it. That would you never know, have used never the word itself. Never would have itself. said the word itself. Right. Yet now you could just say the N-word, and everyone knows what you're talking about. You mentally conjure up the the word in your mind and now the news can use it uh writers in papers comedians anybody can say the n-word how do you feel about that well it's you know it's see that's a rock and a hard place for me because it's freedom of speech i'm a comic i mean personally yeah, yeah, not, per not, no no i'm a comedian sometimes I, I, a lot of our freedoms and 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 things that we yeah but i'm listen comedians are like saints we make people's lives much better Thank God for us, and thank God for laughter, and thank God for Today, us now. Today, Paul, are you? Yeah, yeah, but you can, <laughs> you, can, you can be cute all you want to be cute, but it doesn't know, change the reality of it. Okay, that we are, we change, we are, we change people's life with humor. We really do, and they get a smile on their face. I mean, and in the world that we live in now, we need it. We really do. But Michael, here's what bothered Michael Richards. My, this fucking guy who was on Kramer, who I agreed, the audience was horrible, on and he attacked Kramer. Kramer. I'm, 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 I'm on Seinfeld. Oh, I don't watch Seinfeld. Jerry, Jerry Kramer. Kramer would be like, what Whatever. the fuck is this? Spin -off. He's, not important. he's not important. I know who he was. He has a meltdown on stage. Butterfly McQueen. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. He's like, let that go. Calling Seinfeld Kramer is a little different. I'm just happy I fucked up with Steve McQueen. What the hell the fuck is his name? I'm just happy I fucked up a white name. 
guy holds a grudge. Jesus. But yeah. fucking, <laughs> look. Mike, Michael Kramer. <laughs> I do it on purpose. Uh, <laughs> Michael Richards has a meltdown. He says nigger on stage. And the whole, this is what bothers me. How did that fucking asshole spark a racial discussion in the country? Meaning, what he did as a comedian is it was just a guy yelling something at him. Like, if, if, if life was fair, if you yelled out at a table full of people, you get punched in the face and that's the end of it. That's it. Like, True, Why did yeah. that spark a racial discussion? It was a mean. We America takes meaningless interactions and uses them to spark important discussions. The NAACP came out. They had the ceremony. They buried the word. It was like why over off. the statements of a comic over a guy yelling at an audience I think did America the, have this discussion? I think because it came off as being very um, hateful instead of being fun and funny. Like there are people that that can use any word. And and somehow twist it to make it funny in context. For him, it seemed like, oh my God, I have no way out of this. But and he just lost his fucking mind. No, no, no. Mind. I, I understand that he wasn't being funny. He was being angry. All right, whatever. But why would a comic being angry spark a racial discussion? He sparked more of a racial discussion than Khalid Muhammad did, or during the, so many other white black confrontations so in the last ten his, years. I think it was also so out of his character that we were used to seeing on Seinfeld for so long that it freaked people out. Like if it was somebody, you know, if David Duke got up and started doing stand-up comedy and decided... Well, it's because that <laughs> show was such a hit. Yeah. Yeah, and that was mm -hmm. the backlash on it. That show was such a hit. So for someone to come out of that show that America just worshipped... And there was no yeah. dirt coming yeah. out of Seinfeld. Mm -hmm. It was squeaky clean for years until old plantation owner and then, Kramer... No, and then they were all <laughs> running around saying that he was a Jew. You do know that. That who was a Jew? Uh, I, I didn't know what, you said that he was a Jew. Who? Yeah. Who is saying Michael that? Richards. Michael Richards. Is he or no? I don't know. I've never met Michael Richards. He's Armenian. He oh. No, he's not. Oh. <laughs> See? Look, see? Of course yeah. he is. Yeah. You guys are so knowledgeable. Of course he yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know his nationality. I've never met Michael Richards. I, I never met him. Uh, I don't do the laugh. All right, he's laughing at least. Got to laugh at him. Jesus. I like the comedy story. This guy's intense. No, you don't know how... <laughs> you don't know how fucking sarcastic... So I'm being sarcastic. You know <laughs> I have a completely different take on Paul Mooney than I did... When I seen you on interviews, even when we've spoken before on, on uh, this radio show, I have a totally different impression of you. You're a lot more of a smart ass than than I think you want to let out there. I really think that he's a sarcastic smart ass, and it's hysterical. Well, yeah, <laughs> he can get people's fucking buttons pushed. It's great. Do you like? Do you like? Look how this one flipped. Uh, no, I swear. But I, 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 I like you, Paul. You know I, I like, like you. you. I, yeah. I, I like you as a comic. I like. I like. I like. I like. He's the reason you're in here. Who? Him. I mean, I just thought, you know, he's, I, I wanted he's to... He's the reason. Yes. No, he means that whatever guests are pitched, I, I actually... He hey, put, he put I saw you on the news. I'm like, hey, Mooney's doing a yeah. book tour. Let's bring him in. I didn't even know you were coming. So, well, he yeah. comes from where I come from, of course. That's, that's why. Yeah. You're calling him black, too, now? No. Oh, no, I thought you meant came yes, from. Please. I'm sorry. Neither one of us are Americans. <laughs> Jesus, I, please. I get so confused. Please, we, we both live on a reservation, a comedy <laughs> reservation. <laughs> we're just two creepy <laughs> U.S. citizens. And we, and, we, and we walk from Russia. No, over the tank. Over the tank. Yes. These people are crazy. Uh, like the bearing tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, do you like white people? What do you mean? Oh, do you like white? It's white people? in my family. Are you on drugs? I don't see white. There's white um, in my. I'm from Louisiana. What is your is problem? Really Louisiana like has a lot of white people. <laughs> do we have to break it down for him? Uh, some, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> there. Uh, yeah. I mean, some people do get the impre impression that you are uh, separatist. You're all like a uh, uh, don't That's like not, white people I told just based you, on the I can, color of their listen, skin. Listen, I cannot be responsible for your reaction. I can. I can only be responsible for my own. I can't know what you think. But it's you not do my put, problem. You but what you put out there, people will make their assumptions, and what they assume based on what you put out there is that you are a separatist. You don't really like white people. That's their problem. That, that's not mine. People liked Hitler. Get out of here. What is real people? Problem? You're Lock talking people to one. Like one. <laughs> <laughs> we should maybe explain uh, Anthony to Paul Mooney. <laughs> I need an explanation. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, Jesus what the fuck's going on? This is the beauty oh, of God. It seems like the more confrontational on. it gets, the happier you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I won't be satisfied till all you right. all kill each other. Till you kill each other, then I'll be happy. All right. Let's go to Billy in Arkansas. Yeah. Billy. Hey, I just, I just want to know when, when Mr. Mooney talks to you guys, does he, does he use a lot of hand gestures? Because I think you guys just been Jedi mind tricks. Oh, is he using Jedi mind tricks on us? Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> 
This is not the Negro you're looking for. <laughs> uh, let me say hi to Ken in Boston. Ken. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, hey, Anthony, I think Paul's uh, really giving it to you uh, uh, intellectually-wise. He's giving you a run for your money. All your years I've been listening, uh, you seem to have an uh, upper hand, and uh, Paul's just walking all over. Oh, no, Anthony has I'm, met his match today. I am, no, what I am doing is I am seeing a, a funny guy who li who does seem to me again I'm not putting words in your Who's mouth full of shit seems to enjoy <laughs> enjoy pushing buttons making confrontation and he's very good at doing it yeah he don't he's give a shit he's very good at doing he doesn't it doesn't give Look a shit about anything phones. <laughs> Dude, the phones he's lit up these phones with the angry motherfuckers I, I did say no I did say the phones will light no, up no, 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 no. in here no they're not even angry oh, I, uh, with that said I got to go to wire cuz I, I think it'll say it for everybody go ahead wire of course that phone, phone doesn't work. Yeah, Fucking work. Damn phone. It might be that Some line. of our phones aren't working. He says this is the most interesting radio that never produced anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's you know going out there and it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're calling you the Al Sharpton of comedy. That's <laughs> Al, Al Sharpton. You, Al Sharpton you like Al Sharpton, Mr. Mooney? Al Sharpton's. Uh, he says he's 52. His hairdo is 52. <laughs> he does have one of those. Uh, not a, not a fan. Style. No. What do you mean not a fan? I'm, Al is all right. I mean, it, it, we need an Al. You think well, you need an get Al? a better Al? Yeah, we as need an far Al. You can like, get a better Al. No, we need, no, we need an Al. We need it. A lot of people say they don't like him as the self-anointed black leadership uh, because he doesn't represent what a lot of black people... Um, uh, you know, I'm talking mainstream, just go to work every day, raise their family, black people. They look at Rev Rev Reverend Al and go, he's uh, he's perpetuating no, I went to stereotypes. His, I went to his, no, he's out there. I went to his uh, birthday party, and he kept calling this Asian lady Little Kim. Oh, and I said, why is he calling that woman Little Kim? And then I got over there, it was Little Kim. <laughs> All right. I didn't know surgery could change your race, but it was her. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Did she, did she get a little tug? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's it's... fucking funny, man. <laughs> This uh, is, one thing about watching Mooney do comedy, it really is fun to watch. It's when you go to Caroline's. I, I will say this. I've never seen a guy who has as much new material every time and who really has no worries about offending the audience, which is nice to see. Uh, you know, I've watched you sit up there. just It's on a stool with a glass. Uh, yeah, we're trying to figure out what you drink. Yeah, what, yeah whatever that is in, in, that that, in that glass you drink. It's just you sip it. Not going to answer that either. What? <laughs> what is it? What does he drink on stage? Because I've, I've seen you. You always have like a little. It's a little. Uh, little it's Red Bull. No. Uh, that's, you know, a black man created Red Bull. You do know that. It's a black man created everything. No, Red Bull. No, Red Bull. Stoplight. We wouldn't have the stoplight if it wasn't of for the black man. I forgot. The toilet. Yeah, the toilet. Well, the wait a toilet. minute. No, I thought we, Mr. Uh, Trapper. You read Dr. No, Yakov. No, White no. people just ate our own no, shit in a no. fucking yeah. hole yeah. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> what about... Uh, what? He doesn't drink Red Bull. He won't even answer that question. Go ahead. I'm going to guess it's uh, it's something out cognac. of... Cognac. Cognac out of a... Oh, or, come or, or on. Now you're, being, now you're being racial, please. Cavassier. <laughs> 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 you're back to that. We've gotten away from that. We were all friends. I it was know. all going to be great. And then you got back to the crap. Well, I could read some of this and say it's grape juice. Oh, well, grape, well, grape soda. Fuck it's, that up. It's Red Bull, brother. Is it Red Bull? No, tell us what it is, because then you'll get some free Probably shit. Probably is Red Bull. No, I don't think it's Red Bull. <laughs> he, 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 see, he's laughing at you now. It's not <laughs> Red Bull. I knew it wasn't Red Bull. This guy doesn't need Red Bull. Keeps that, en keeps that energy up. He doesn't need Red Bull. <laughs> you need some you are funny. Mouth. You are very funny. <laughs> it probably is. It's not. Probably is. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see how it's not. All right, well, well, black. Wait, black is the new white. Black is the new white. I want to talk a little more about the book that you Why? want to talk about. An no, black is the new white. Is you it, you got any in... pictures in here? No, the black man in Cleveland proved that. I want to see some pictures. Oh, oh yeah, let's okay. talk about this. Yeah, the, the, serial, the black, black serial, serial killer. killer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure there's a white man trapped inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes all those white people happy. <laughs> yeah, finally a black guy. He wants <laughs> out. <laughs> Paul, we're trying to sell books for you. No one's going to buy the book unless you give us a little more than what you have. What are you talking about? It looks like a good book. It is a good book. He read it. It's good. Dressed. It's good. Look at that. What are some, some of the chapter pictures? names? They're just one, two, three. The, the chapters aren't really. Why, why aren't you naming your chapters? Makes it easy for everybody. The, now you're pointing at me. I see it. Chapter 16. It's named Chapter 16. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is something. You know? I, I actually circled this. Yeah. this uh, it's on page 18. 
And Paul Notice wrote, he only read the first 20 pages, Paul. See. No, no, I, I, I read up to yeah. page 38. 38. I, it says here, uh, <laughs> he was talking about white and black comfort. He goes, it's true. Whatever the quality is that white people enjoy in black people, I ain't got it. <laughs> 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 uh, good for you. That is a fantastic. Uh, good good right. for you. We got a really good question coming in. I don't know what uh, if we're going to get an answer, Jerome, but try. Jerome in Florida. Uh, the, first off, I really wish Patrice O'Neill was there for all this. But um, I actually got two questions. First question is: um, do, do you think that, as a whole, black people are actually more racist amongst each other than white people are? And then, secondly, I wanted to get your view on 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 your thoughts on on white. Uh, uh, I just lost it. White guilt, um, white dummy, guilt, yes, white panicking. I see it written there. You are a panicky Pete. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I get panicky on them. Well, you should be. We talk about white guilt yeah. on the hey, show. Uh, sir, yeah, sir, guilt. sir, don't let them bother you. Your question that you asked. Yes, there's a lot of racism between the race itself. Because they learn from the best. You're a very smart man. And don't oh. let these don't let these maniacs throw you. Okay. How can how can everything, <laughs> even even that black people do, be um, traced back to blame on white people? Only the negative stuff. To, but, can't black listen, people take all, responsibility for certain things as just hey maybe we have to deal with this problem as black people and not just spin it and say all right there's racism in our our community. Uh, it doesn't have to be they learn from the best, which is the white man, of course. We know what you're talking about, Paul. Uh, why can't black people in the community uh, uh, just take up some responsibility? Raise those families. Keep the men uh, in the family to raise the children and, and teach them some values and stuff. And, and, and maybe think about not having eight kids and things. Just these certain... No, oh, you, there's something shit. wrong with you. No, Paul. There's something there wrong with you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Addressing. Listen to me. Yeah, address after slavery. It's, Listen. Been, it's done. Slavery's okay, it doesn't, done. it doesn't matter. Listen to me. You okay. reap the benefits. Shut up. Here's I, the deal. I didn't reap shit. Here's, uh, well, your parents failed. Listen. They were in Italy. Here, here, yeah, uh, apparently yeah. having oh, sex oh, with black people. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. Look at the world after freedom. Uh -huh. When slavery, we lived with white people in their homes. Okay? Mm -hmm. When we got free, the, white people don't even want us in the neighborhoods. It's about ownership. If tomorrow slavery came back in, the whitest area in New York, they would be on their porch. Welcome home. We've been waiting. We haven't changed a thing. Go to your room. It's the way it is. That, the, the, I got a Roomba. What's that? <laughs> it's an automatic vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Do your whole thing about it. Yeah, you no, I'm just we, saying. We blame, we blame you for there, everything. There, Poor there us. has to be certain things that Oh, are, yeah, that we take responsibility. That yeah, you need yeah, to take responsibility yeah, for yeah, and address. Yeah, not in an Al Sharpton yeah, way. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Al black, Sharpton? Black, that's what I'm saying. Black leadership that does not address the true problem, which is black people have to take more responsibility about the problems that are, they're faced in the community. The high crime. Yeah, well, the, disproportionate, the, the, the disproportionate number of crimes that's not true. in black but communities. That's not true. It is true. That white people commit crimes, too. That's not true. It, not in a disproportionate number. No, come than, off of it. Black people. It, it absolutely The prisons true. are full absolutely of white folks true. and black people and everything else. The, why do you commit crimes? 10%, 12% of the national population. How much, money, of the how population. much money does a white person steal? I have no idea. A lot. Well, it depends. Bernie now, Madoff, not as much Bernie Bernie Madoff, Excuse me. A lot. Like, like what? Billions. Billions. But you know what? All those people are alive to go, that motherfucker ripped me off. <laughs> it's not one guy with a bullet in his head for 20 bucks. But why don't you... Get yeah, that's, smarter that's, with your you, crime. No, you get... What are you talking about? That's not <laughs> true. That is not true. It is true. It's just not. It's not true. How is that? White people true? do more crime to white people than they do to blacks. Of course, we're afraid of black people. No, we're not listen do you, crime you're, to black people. You're, something's wrong with you. No, you're afraid of black people. I am a realist. That when you, that when you look honesty. in the mirror, do you scream? You know what's wrong? I'm <laughs> so, honest. So when you look in the mirror, do you scream? No. You just said you were afraid of black people. You just said you were afraid of black people. So you look in the mirror and you no, scream. I'm talking about white society is wouldn't perpetrate no, many crimes. you're in charge of white. You're yes. the spokesman for yes. white yes. society. Thank you. I am. Yeah. We wouldn't perpetrate. And being part black. There aren't many. You sound crazy. White on black crimes, as many as there are black on white crimes, based on the popula That's not true. population. Absolutely true. No, it's FBI not true. FBI statistics, my no. friend. No, FBI. You what? FBI. You believe them? Motherfucking FBI. You believe the FBI? <laughs> yes, You're I believe stupid. the FBI. 
FBI stats. <laughs> that's like ble- that's can- like believing your doctor. Do everything your doctor says, and you'll surely die. Something's wrong with you. <laughs> I wish people could see. There's no, every time Mooney says something to Anthony, he looks at me like, can you believe this motherfucker? <laughs> Jimmy makes the same face. <laughs> Paul, we're kind of on your side. So. <laughs> <laughs> a little more on your side than you realize. He's nuts. He's nuts. <laughs> yeah, I've been called crazy. And you thought Jimmy was dying from cancer. Did I bring him alive? Hey, we got two more brothers coming down the hall. Brothers, I'll let them come in and help you out, Paul. I don't even know what they do around here. I'm just walking by. All right. That there has to be more accountability in the black community about problems that are inherent in that community and not so much putting the blame on white people and uh, the uh, uh, and slavery. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I was saying, Paul. Yeah, put the blame on Maine. Blame what? what? Put the blame on Maine. Put the blame on Maine. Yeah, you know that's oh, right. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Is that a CCR song? I like that. No, it's not a CCR no. song. Is it the band? What is it? <laughs> You know, it's it, it's just it does seem that you know you, you were you were shoving some of those issues off on on whitey, and I had to step up because I'm a quarter white, you know. <laughs> that part of you got you crazy. <laughs> yes, I'm crazy. I know. And the black half of you said, "Oh, Paul, let's just stop and go oh eat my at God. Sylvia's. Let's go to Sylvia's." I feel like walking. I feel like walking in true uh, romance. <laughs> Uh, we got some African princesses outside the studio. Want to bring them Ooh. in, Paul? What's up? Come on in, help us out. We're, we're, no, all right. Who was that? You know, you know. Every year we uh, do the thing for the homeless and the actors out of work. You know, the Laugh Factor. You know okay. how we do that. I, I don't know about. Okay, it. we do that. We do a whole whole thing. We do it this Thanksgiving. Is it a Christmas. hunt? Huh? Nothing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm on stage performing. We get helicopters and the police come in. You know, Jamie looks like a Mexican, you know. Yeah, he's oh, a yeah. Jew. Yeah, yeah. And he comes to the door. And the owner. And they threw him to the side. <laughs> they threw him. Shut up. And I'm there. And the police are there. There's about eight of them. They say, come here to me. I said, I'm not coming to you. Because I was on private property. You know? Oh, okay. They come inside the place trespassing. Telling me that they've got a description of me. I said, but I'm not outside. What are you talking about? Someone has to be on the inside. And it was a cop because, you know, the police pretend like they're homeless. You know that. You know, they dress up like they're homeless so they can find out old things that's going on in the streets. Nah, that's just because Bloomberg doesn't pay him enough. Who? The Here? cops. Yeah, the cops. Yeah. Well, I thought Bloomberg was a cop. He's not a cop? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. But go ahead. See, sorry, that was pro. That was pro cop. Sorry, something you probably yeah, wouldn't yeah, agree yeah, with. Yeah, or yeah, know yeah, about yeah. Or... <laughs> Wait a minute, let me finish. What the happened? Story. Yeah. So, no, they, so I wouldn't come to them, and I told them to call their uh, police chief, whoever it was, and just to admit they were there for me because some cop didn't like what I was saying, and they only come for their own. You know that. They don't come for every little phone call because if they did, people hate police. They would be out every day, every five <clears> minutes. Yeah. So it all ended up, they did call, the, 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 the it was a female, and uh, I talked to them, and they admitted it. They were told that I was talking about some stuff that they didn't like. What was the stuff? Huh? Well, it, was just, it was just racial and about the police the, in L.A., you know how oh, they okay. are. Right, and that racial profile and that insanity that they do there, you know that. Yeah, because why, you know, but profi- I'm saying, but, why but, profile the people that are perpetrating the crimes, uh, you know, instead of... You don't think ro- racial profiling exists? No, oh, it definitely I, I does. think it exists, and I agree with it uh, in in part. You agree with it? <laughs> I agree with the fact that if you're looking for oh a young black man uh, that committed a robbery, let's say, you should be able to say on the news, and the suspect was a young black man, so that if somebody listen, can let see me tell you guy, something. I've been they, in the cars yes. with white people when I'm riding shotgun. They've mm-hmm. pulled us over and asked me for my license, and that's racial profiling. And asked the white people, "Are you okay?" I've been in the car with white Are friends. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been in the car. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> no, no, it's pretty funny. It's reality. And you think it's funny? Yeah, that no. wasn't supposed to be a joke, Ed. <laughs> and you think oh, it's I funny? Thought, I thought that was reality. You, like you agree with I it. I thought that was part of your act. No, because no, you no, agree no, with no, it. No. You're laughing at something I've like been that. in a two-seater Mercedes with a rich white friend that's drunk, and I'm glad the police are pulling us over. <laughs> <laughs> and they take me to jail. 
Ah, shit. And you're laughing. He's no, trying to make. I, just, I you know, understand his point. I'm just saying. It sucks there is, to be black like, in America. And there, then asking me, wait, be quiet. Okay. Because oh, you have right. no. Oh. You, yeah, because you have no. You, you don't have a concept. Asking me, where are you going? Is that on your driver's test? Where am I going? Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had to have a South African pass to be in in this area. Usually, when they ask, do you where live in the area? Do you? Right. Usually, when they ask where you're going, it's to see if you have somewhere where you okay. are going. You know what, you know what my, it's you know what my to trip answer you up. is? You know what my answer is? Yeah. Huh? What? I'm driving until I run out of gas. You'd like to follow me? You know what my answer <laughs> usually is? I tell the cop where the fuck I'm going, no, and they don't no. drag me out of the vehicle. You know what I, know what I tell and them? I'm a yeah, black man. But you know what I tell them? What? <laughs> if I tell you where I'm going, I'm going to get in trouble. And they go, why is that? So I'm on my way to your house. <laughs> <laughs> See? No wonder. No. And then you heard the sound of the taser. <laughs> oh I tell the cop where I'm going. I hand him uh, my fucking yeah, license. Yeah. I'm courteous. And then I'm on my way. It's not this, why I got to tell you where I'm going. I am outraged. Is that a black accent? That's my that was Sean Austin. That's, 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 that's a good Sean Austin. I am yeah. outraged. Yeah. 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 You should be doing commercials. Outraged. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good Sean yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Not, uh, no, not, not quite. Not not like no, not quite. A little bit. Uh, uh, we should get him no, out of here. No, Sean is, thank you. Thank you. I thought it was thank you. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, that was Michael. I thought it was thank you, Michael. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I have heard him say that. Yeah, I thought it was thank you, Michael. I just hear him when he's outraged. Yeah, but anyway, I mean, the racial profile, it's insane. I mean, then when they stop you, you got to be double-jointed in the circus to pass the drunk test. Now, you've been through the drunk test? Knockwood? No. Well, they told, they, told, they, told, they told me walk a straight line. He, they I, meant in life. And I ran. And I ran. <laughs> don't give me a head start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't give me a head start. We're, we're, going <laughs> we're running out of show. It we was gotta, dark. Oh, we yeah. got to get him out of here because we got uh, Greg Gutfeld. Oh, oh, shit, Listen okay. to, now, see? Oh. See this racism? Did oh. you hear it? Bring in Wait, the Jew. Did you hear it? Hold did you on, hear it? We've got to get him out of here. Hold on. Let me let me say this. You can stay to the end of the show. We just got to get another guy in here. That's see, all. You hear the racism? See? I know. Oh, we're, we're done. We're done. We're about? done. We we're done. Get him out of here. Hey, white boy. What we're done. What are you talking about? We're done, white boy. just for the show. He was like, we got to get him out of here. And in all his That's right. And he's holding up a plane ticket. Like, go back to Africa. Jesus. I like it. You're like, go back to Africa. Uh, Why don't we have Paul, Paul here with Greg Gutfeld? No, 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 I don't know what you want to say. Who's Greg? Who's Greg? He hosts Fox. Red Eye on Fox. He's a, a you very should be funny on guy. Red Eye. It's Red Eye is a show on Fox overnight. It's a, is he a Jew? I actually don't know. Gutfeld? Okay. All right, you're staying. It's obvious. Jesus Christ. Christ. Stay. Paul, stay. <laughs> we're, we're taking a break. Paul Mooney's book is uh, Black is the New White. All kidding aside, it looks like a really good fucking read. So yeah, we're going to continue okay, with Paul yeah. Mooney, and we're going to get great. Greg Gutfeld in here to wrap up the show. Stay there.